Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's Karen. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. Um, I have Freya out again for another nail play. This time it is a vampy Halloween set, so let's get started. Okay, so jumping in with my Bling Line Co One Step, and I put a slip layer down and then cure that on the pointer and the ring finger. I'm then getting in with some of this Alyssa. This is a beautiful cherry red colour gel. Um, it's a lot brighter looking on camera simply because of the lighting, um, but it is much darker in real life, if you will. So I'm putting such a thin layer of that down. So literally, as I'm painting it on, I'm literally sort of pulling um, a lot of it off as well too. Um, just to keep it as thin as possible because I just want a nice kind of colored base to work with because in a moment I am going to be sugaring those nails with some beautiful glitter which here it is now it's hello ruby from nail sugar it's a beautiful holographic red so I'm just sprinkling that over with my little glitter brush uh, just sort of tapping it on and then once I am finished I will go in for a double cure Okay, so once that's out of the lamp and I've removed the excess glitter, I'm just going to encapsulate it again with the Cool One Step Gel. I love encapsulating with this because it just makes life so easy. It flows so beautifully. Um, it, it just, it is such a fantastic gel to work with. So once I've done um, that, I'm going to then move on to the next design, which is on the middle finger and the pinky as well too. So again, I put my slip layer down and I'm curing and then I'm going in with the black. And this is called Ankia. And it is just a fantastic black, a really solid black. So I'm gonna put a good amount of that there on, um, just to kind of get a nice solid color as you can see. And, uh, and then we're gonna go in for a cure. Okay, so while we're curing, I have got some of this glitter, which is called Raven, again from Nail Sugar, and I'm mixing that in with my Co One Step Gel, and um, I'm just sort of mixing it into a bit of a sort of a, a gel-like sort of paste, and then I'm going to apply it on to both the middle and the pinky finger. So as you can see, I just go in and basically kind of manipulate it sort of over that black. And um, once I'm happy with that, then I pick up some of the raw pieces and I literally just sort of scatter them over where I maybe particularly want that some pieces to sit. Um, and then I will cure it and I'm just encapsulating um, that now too, along with the pinky as well. Don't forget to wipe that inhibition layer off before you go in with your file. So I'm just going to um, get all these into shape and then I will come back once I have them all filed and buffed and wiped down. Okay, so now we're going in with a slip layer over the pointer and the ring finger again. Again, this is Kill One Step Gel. And, um, and then I give that a cure in the lamp. And then I'm going in with some of the black Ankia again. And um, I had to bring this down further than I wanted it to go, really, um, simply because, well, you'll see, you'll see sort of further along as to why. But um, what I'm doing is I'm kind of like fading it into the red, the encapsulated red glitter, if you will. So it's going to be darker up near the cuticle area. And then it'll sort of um, come down and almost sort of like gently ombre itself into that red. It's a little bit difficult to do, but I kind of knew what I wanted. Um, it did turn out okay. It just took a little bit longer for me to work with that, but the slip layer definitely helped creating that sort of um, translucent effect down the further down the nail. So once I'm happy with that there, then I go in for a cure. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm just wiping off that inhibition layer because I am going to be doing some stamping, which is with the bridal plate, believe it or not, from Mogi London. And I'm using that design there. And that's what I mean. The actual design on the plates of the Mogi London, um, as lovely as their plates are, some of the um, designs are quite short. So that's why I had to bring that down. But moving on now to the middle finger. And um, I am just now going in with my nut mug detailer and I'm drawing the outline of a little kind of um, a pair of lips. So um, it looks quite, and they actually look quite big at the moment, but that's simply because you, you kind of need to bring the, the lower lip down that little bit to um, sort of really get that shape going. And I wanted the mouth to be sort of slightly open. So, um, so yeah, so once I have um, that all outlined and filled in um, then I just go in for a sort of a quick flash cure just to sort of hold that in place. Okay and there we are going back in with some of that gorgeous Hello Ruby to make those lips super sparkly. It's just like Dorothy's slippers. It is the most gorgeous colour. It's made for Alyssa, it's stunning. Um, so I've double cured that, and um, I did top coat it as well too, and then give a little buff over. Um, but uh, what I'm doing now is I'm going in with the Anki again and my detailer, and I'm just sort of going around those lips, just sort of like neatening things up, and um, just sort of like, um, just giving that little bit of detail as well as sort of some of the, um, the little sort of lines and things like that there on the lips um, and then what I will do is I will also fill in the center as you can see um, with some white I did do a little flash cure as well so flash cure as many times as you need guys to hold it in place and, uh, and now I'm doing the fangs and then I'm going to go in with some more detail work and then it will be time to top coat Ta-da! And there we go, guys. That is our vampy nail design for Halloween. I'm not going to lie, I do struggle with Halloween designs. Um, it's not usually my time of the year. It was whenever I was younger and I was so excited about it, but I seem to kind of outgrow on Halloween um, along my way, but I did enjoy doing this set. And it's nice to just uh, kind of like, you know, get different colors out that I don't normally work with, blacks, reds, and stuff like that there. Um, but I'm really, really, really delighted with how they turned out so and I hope you like them too and maybe it'll inspire you to do a vampy set as well so thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you all again next week don't forget we've also got a giveaway running as well so go check that out and I will see you all in a bit take care thanks for watching bye